morning guys so today is April 2nd it's gonna be more so a raw video today um, I'm gonna be doing more talking uh, commentating explaining everything that I'm doing my workouts and all that because today I am training chest again so I'm just gonna explain pretty much as to what I'm doing I'm gonna record a couple scenes here and there but I'm not record the whole thing like I did in the last two vlogs I believe I did chest in the last two ones as well for the next episode I will do um, obviously a diff different muscle group so you guys can see the difference in exercises and as to how I hit them um, but today I am doing chest and triceps um, you guys just saw I weigh 161.9 I believe um, just took a shower so I'm gonna go get something to eat right now I'll probably be making eggs or yeah eggs and bacon I usually make eggs and bacon every morning but um, yeah so it's gonna be more talkative guys uh, it's gonna be more so towards um, the whole day, me talking to you guys, I said that like three times already, but you guys get the point. It's going to be more raw um, for everyone here to understand the, um, understand everything. <laughs> here are some scrambled eggs that I just made I made five eggs scrambled that's breakfast um, later on I'm gonna be making some salad Caesar salad um, before I go to the gym I might be having one of my meals before I go to the gym as well I still gotta make my meals um, my mom's making some uh, chicken wings so I might include that into my meals um, for my meals like counting macros and whatnot pretty much all I do is I eat a bunch of vegetables so I I pretty much make that my carbohydrates and when I eat meats I put any meat really there is that will kind of go towards um, one gram of protein per pound so meaning for how much you weigh will be how many grams you eat per day um, since I'm cutting down I'm doing close to that but I'm not doing exactly that because I have to eat smaller portions but more throughout the day so for these uh, chicken wings I'm gonna be having um, I'm gonna be having uh, a couple for each meal and then a bunch of vegetables on each meal and maybe some more meat on each meal and also I don't count sauces so I use that as my carbohydrate sauces um, vegetables and that's really all my carbohydrates I don't have any rice I don't have any bread um, I don't have any pasta anything to do with carbohydrates I don't really have um, I'm trying to be strict for this um, show uh, for right now but when it comes to about five weeks out so halfway through I started about 12 weeks out so I guess yeah about five weeks out that's when I'm gonna be doing plain food so there's gonna be no sauces no spices, no nothing, from five weeks all the way to the show. Um, and it's just going to be meats and vegetables, obviously fruits as well, so I get some carbs from there as well. But those are more so the, the natural carbs, not the wheat and all that kind of stuff, right? So that's pretty much my explanation for my meals. Um, you guys should kind of understand as to why I'm doing it, because carbohydrates are pretty much the main source of how you're going to build up fat and obviously if you eat junk food so I'm not eating junk food I don't have to explain that to you guys I mean it's common sense if you're doing a show you're eating junk food you're not taking it seriously um, so that's what I'm going to be doing and that's what I've had that's what I have been doing for the past I don't know not maybe six weeks something like that but you guys understand the gist of it low carbs pretty much no carbs lots of vegetables fruits um and meats really that's everything like here and there i'll have a little treat and my treats would be uh greek yogurts 
and granola. So granola is a carbohydrate, but that is a once in a while kind of thing, maybe once a week, you know, here and there. Nothing major, nothing that will take me away from my macros or from my cutting down in general. So that's pretty much what Matt August does as well. He knows what's going into his body. He does lots of um, salads mainly, but he knows what's going into his body. He understands the what makes him fat and what doesn't make him fat. And he actually put up a video recently um, of him explaining that he went off his diet for about 3-4 days and he hasn't been tra tracking his macros for a long time so um, but he is half natural so he can cut down to the extent that he needs to be um, but for me since I'm full natural I have to put that extra effort and make sure I'm cleaner with my eating and not eating too much and you know all those little things are what really matters <laughs> variety so changing it up here and there but you don't have to be so strict as to what you're taking in you ought to know obviously that you had taken protein um, you can't take in too many carbs so kind of work around that and I think a lot of people do do that a lot of fitness um, not fanatics fitness um, uh, competitors they do try to compensate for what they can buy because it is really expensive if you really want to go that straight route being really strict as to what you eat oh I'm gonna have this much of steak or this much of ground beef you know try to work around it you know buy the like, ground beef buy the steak or whatever it is you use and use it of course right but if there's something in the fridge that no one's in and it's something you could incorporate to your diet why not I mean uh, food is food don't take it for granted right um, so as you guys are seeing I'm eating my salad right now it's pretty big actually I have big salad salads because if you don't, you, you guys probably know this, but with vegetables and fruits, well, fruits may be a little bit higher calories, but with vegetables, really, really low calories. I believe a cup of broccoli was like 20 calories or something, but it's, you could eat tons and tons of vegetables, guys, and you'll never gain any weight from it. That's why vegetarians are, is a good way to go. Ve vegetarian is a good way to go, but for my sake, since I do compete in men's physique, I do need the protein, I do need the meats. Um, in order to uh, maintain that muscle mass, um, vegetarians might say differently, but that's from my personal experience. I've been training for about four years now, and that's my opinion, right? So everyone has their own opinion, everyone has the right to their own opinion. But anyways, key points, vegetables do help you uh, lose fat uh, because you can eat so much of it. You can fill yourself up in veg with vegetables without feeling hungry and still lose fat. Of course, you still got to work out, but the right foods is just remember protein, vegetables, fruits, low carbs is going to allow you to burn fat. So today's workout, we did chest and triceps. We started it off with incline bench. We did a warm up set on incline bench, then we started it off with 45s on each side. Did that for a set, then we went up to 45s and a 25 on each side, did that for a set, then we went down to another 45 only on each side for two sets, and did push-ups after as a drop set for the last set. Then after that, we did flat bench. So for flat bench, we did a warm-up set as well. We always do a warm-up set for every single exercise we do. Um, it's just to keep the muscles uh, flowing with blood and get that form right just before we start our actual working sets. Then we moved up in weight, so we would do a weight that's in between our warm-up and in between our heavy set. So it was roughly 60 pounds we did. Then I did 90, um, Addy did 85, I believe. No, it was 80 pounds. Um, that was our heaviest set. We did. We always do one heavy set for mainly the beginning of our exercises to get the beginning parts of it. Um, after that, we did incline bench. Well, for flat bench, we did the same thing as we did for incline. We did two lighter sets after that and drop set of push-ups. Um, after that, we did incline 
uh, dumbbell press, which was um, the same way. So it was, uh, actually no, it was a little bit different. For this one, we did three sets of 45 pounds. So it was more so to keep the muscles uh, flowing because we already did incline, but we still want to attack that upper chest because it's a little bit lacking on the both of us and we do have that lower chest already. So it's always good to hit the parts that are not um, grown as much as other parts, obviously. So we did that, three sets, 45 pounds, 15 reps each. Um, I believe Addy did three sets of 12. Um, after that, we did dips, so we went back to our lower chest, three sets of 12, um, no weight, just regular dips, body weight. Um, after that, we did flies, cable flies, so we went down to the very bottom, did about a set of 10, uh, not a set of 10, sorry, 10 reps, and then we went out, did another 10 reps, so that's 20 reps in each set, and we did about three of those. Um, after that, we started off with the triceps right away. We did cable push downs. Um, we did three sets of, I believe it was 12 to 15, and we would switch. So we do 12 to 15 with our wrist facing downward, then 12 to 15 with our wrist facing upward. So it's roughly about 20 reps. Um, really good pump. It was still heavy weight, so it was still um, allowing for that muscle to be stimulated. Um, then after that, we did one arm. Uh, tricep over the head and we did uh, one arm tricep extension so it was mainly after that exercise we did more so to burn that muscle and allow that muscle really to get a lot of blood flowing and really squeeze get those striations flowing <laughs> so after that we did abs and we did about just um, we did crunches leg raises just the simple things uh, for today and I did 15 minutes of cardio to finish it off Big guy. Barely got over that though. <laughs>